Welcome back everybody, Maxwell here, bringing you another episode of Victoria 2, Pop Demand Mod with Scandinavia. So, we can declare in 115 days on the Russia. So, I guess we just pass the time until then. We have 30 troops here. Problem is... Oh, they're still only tech 70. How bad is Russia? Maybe I really need to, like, play Russia once. Because I never know how bad they are. But they're a little bit behind on uh, army technology. Maybe I should go for this next. When do these ones come out? Oh, that's 1860. Hmm. <clears throat> so I can probably get these two done. Maybe I do this. I seriously just not looking at commerce. I mean, we're doing so well money-wise. I just want industry, military, and prestige to go up. The only ones that really matter. These ones are fine. Wow, we dropped a little bit from literacy. We were like at eighty. We were at like ninety something when we were just Sweden. Then we get to like eighty nine. Now we're at E6. These people need to learn how to read. Huh. Well, anyway, let's continue the game. Get a little bit more troops. We're getting seven more ships. So, oh, right. So, military. Let's get this one. Yeah, I should have got here. Alright. Hmm. Conservatives. Oh yeah, our uh, party changed name. As did the rest of the parties. And I assume that's because... Um... Where's Scandinavian coal in there? Oh, we're closing a pharmaceutical place? That's unfortunate. Um... I have no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> but anyway. War with Russia. Oh, damn. Well, it's a little bit more than 115 days. But they haven't caught us yet. Oh. We're just closing down all of the freaking stores. Or, uh, factories. Oh, there's one more. Oh, no, a winery. Oh, okay. But I really like how we're just, uh... All of the Nordic countries. All of them. <laughs> I'm debating. Probably maybe at some point I'll have to like, if I get big enough and strong enough, maybe I'll just uh, have to go to war with Prussia or something. 5.36, I'm at 2.08, and Prussia is at 18, he's 18. But seriously, Prussia, how have you not formed the North German Federation? Why are we just closing down all of these factories all of a sudden? It's kind of worrying. Like, again, what, wow. Uh -huh, more prestige? Nice, alright. Helsinki. Explosive factory. Alright. Decrease speed a little bit. Prussia. So we have acquire a state. Acquire a state. What do we want? Do we want St. Petersburg, so Ingria? Or do we want Karelia? Or even Kola? And the other question is, we're at zero infamy. I assume we might be able to add another war goal of taking another state. However, it's going to be the full cost. Hmm. I think we take Ingria. Although it's all grain, wow. Uh, Ingria, and then one, two, three. Oof. At least do Ingria first, and then we might do Novgorod. But we might do one of these two, or both. Probably not both. We'll only take two in this war. Short, succinct wars, where we can take quite a bit. 
Alright. Declare war. Uh, Ingria. Now, this is only works if Russia says yes. Likely. I would like it if you were very likely. However, I think this time will work much better. I have a stronger military and a stronger navy. I think it should just work better. Alright. If not, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Uh, ally my good friend again. Oh, you're all the way up there. I'm gonna go up here. And, uh, where's the rest of you? Oh, is there a person over here or something? Ah, uh, crap. Alright, no. You, I don't care about. Can I build another person in Europe? No. That's unfortunate. So it's just these five. Ah, oh, thank god. We're not surprised. Prussia has joined in. Good. Very good indeed. Alright, so you're not exactly a real army, but you're a real boy. So I have way better technology than these guys. When it comes to military, I mean I'm at 13 and they're at 7. I have better military organization and our military tactics and Prussia's in the war too. And they're better than me! So, <laughs> and they have more units. I think we're going to steamroll them. Just absolutely steamroll. And Prussia's probably going to uh, add some more goals for themselves. Diplomacy. Show wars. And I'm taking Ingria. I'm going to add... Should I do Novgorod? Because Novgorod... Novgorod is a wealthy place. So it would be good for me to hold it. However, I'd like these to know, you know, I don't like bad borders. I'd like to complete the states when I have them. I have this state, so I'd like to cut them Russia off over here. Uh, interesting. It's still an oh, interesting thing. Hmm. 17% Romanian up here? Why? <laughs> That's an odd culture. That's in the middle of freaking Incola. Why? Why? Anyway, I think I'm just gonna go. Jeez. <sighs> so hard to decide. I think I'm gonna go Novgorod. Why? Because it's wealthier. I'll fix this issue later. later. Ah, good. Killed 10,000, lost 3,000. That's a good ratio. I'll take it. Alright, where are you walking to? Up there. Alright, then go there. Right, can I add another war goal? Yeah, alright. Uh, no, Grod. Actually, for that, Blaze in the Sun. Whoa, you have a lot. Are these, uh... Oh, those are all state stamp. Uh, what was the one with... Was it this one? Ah, wonderful. Look, all these are states. All these aren't. <laughs> oh, that's actually, like... Right here, this is a, this is a, uh, a colonial province. So that means I can actually take it for cheaper. <laughs> Fine. Um, it's such a hard decision to make, and I can't believe I'm making this, like, it shouldn't be a hard decision. But I'm gonna take Russian Karelia. Fire State. Oh, I'm the war leader too, nice! Russian Karelia. It's going to be a really quick war. Prussia, uh, add something for yourself. Give yourself something nice. 
Oh, is, uh... I don't know. I can't acknowledge them anymore? Yeah, the, they're getting... They are, the Confederate Union is just not there. Turk, uh... Close. Alright. You go there. Uh... 24th of February, 2nd of March, not gonna make it. I would have thought you'd be more concerned about down here, but, you know, whatever. Cancel. Um, yeah, go up there, no matter what. Two units here. Well, I guess you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Ooh, yay, sanitation. More population. Oh, hello. Um, you're moving away down there. I don't know what Russia's doing, but they really need to focus on this front because they're stronger. Russia is much stronger. Uh, force a repeal on banning liquor. Um, I mean, this is, uh, Yep, yeah, force of repeal. This is Finland. They gotta drink as much as the Russians. You guys aren't getting as many troops back as they want. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, July 6th. Alright, awesome. I'll get these guys. Uh, oh boy. More and more units. It's just that Russia has so many provinces and so many units, it's really annoying. Stop moving. Good. Now come and move. Maybe I can kill you? No, I can't catch you. That's unfortunate. Uh, god damn it. Just move. Come on. Come on. Let me, let me leave. That was probably a silly move on my part to uh, <laughs> try and force that to be done. But come on, please. Six days. Not gonna make it, am I? No, of course not. Oh, for Finland. <sighs> oh well. I mean, we're gonna win this war. There's no way, unless Austria, France, Britain all declare war on Prussia. Humili oh, we're, the, we're at war with the Netherlands? Were they allied to the Netherlands? Once again, it does not matter. Just Prussia, you can add whatever goals you want. Uh -huh. Nice. I stacked white them. July 11th. Well, get this done quick. Right, uh, move, quick. <laughs> Before the Russians come back. Crud, there they are. They are, uh, quite annoying. If I do say so myself. Hopefully I can get to them faster that way. Oh, you took it? Uh, that's annoying. What am I gonna get? <coughs> Excuse me. Am I going to catch these guys? I think so. This is just going back and forth in battles. But the good thing is that you can get battles up to 50%. Humiliate Netherlands is kind of like an eh. I'd rather humiliate Russia, but at the same time, Netherlands, yeah, Netherlands has a lot more prestige, so that makes sense. Yes, kills and destroys and. <laughs> I'm not gonna make catch them, am I? Of course not. They move just, you know, that much faster. Oh, I caught them now. Nice. Good. Good dice rolls. And I'll take this back. Uh, of course, St. Petersburg is being sieged. 
Alright, move here. You're almost done, so move down here. You're going to... We're going to lose this place, but we'll take it right back. Netherlands goes bankrupt. Good, because we're fighting them. It's good they have no more money. Like seriously, is there anything else you've added? No, nothing else? Wow. Okay. Uh, I kind of hoped that people would go back faster. You ran away again? Stand and fight like a man. And die, you know. Much better like. Ah, okay, so I finally made it across. I'll worry about that later. Good. Oh, that was a little bit of a close battle. Alright. Moving on. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh, well, we're definitely getting some good everything on. Like, uh, look at this. Prussia is just walking through. I don't know why they stopped here. Oh, okay, I guess they were trying to move back and try and catch these guys off. Uh, move there and then there. Yeah, that works. Oh, hello. Uh, and back. I did not see this guy. Hopefully I can get there. I don't think I can. Probably gonna lose this army. Oh, no, okay, I won this battle. I think I'll okay, get there. Yeah. Will I? Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately, it has this thing where if you look over it, it says it'll get there on the 25th, but it means the entire path, so you can't know what, when it'll get to the next place. Which is a little bit annoying, but manageable. Alright, we won, barely. <laughs> you guys took a little bit of a, a hit, to say the least. Okay, now which way should I go here? Uh, do I follow them? Nah. Let's go there. <coughs> 6,000 units destroyed. You, um, go there. Uh, should I? Nah, I'll stick with you, just because I don't... Oh, okay. Uh, is that all you want, Prussia? I mean, Prussia's already demanded stuff that's worthless. Dismantle constructions in Holland and humiliate. Against the Netherlands, it's fine, but you didn't ask for anything. Which, I mean, I, I'll go with it. Proceed. Done. A done deal. Alright, select you. Go there. Oh, actually, go back here. You stay. You were fine up right there. Nice. Okay. And again, do this. And St. Petersburg. Nice. Alright. Um. Close this down. Northern Finland. Oh, close that down. Ingria. Nothing. They have nobody working on factories? That's why Russia... So Russia's really bad at factories for whatever reason. I assume it's because they're not literate enough. Which is sad. Alright. Perfect. Let us continue. A man... What? Uh, wait, a man... Wait, what? As John Q. Public walks up to the, public, the ballot box, he knows instinctively that he's being watched by the official presiding the vote. By the man watching him put his ballot in the box, by a government agent in a bar, behind a cut hole of newspaper. Somehow, somewhere, someone is watching him and feeding the government information about his political opinions and voting preferences. 
John's secret fear is that someone on the side on some dark night will come knocking on his door to have a little chat about loyalties and disloyalties. John Q. Public would very much prefer if he could have his vote in secret. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Good. And on that vote, or on that vote, <laughs> on that note, since we want to have good voting, I mean, look at that, a nice amount more. We're just going to keep doing it over and over again. Let's see. So in five years, I assume, yeah, five years from now, we're going to declare war again for Nukuran. And maybe add cola. And maybe add this too. Because we lose diploma, uh, infamy pretty nicely, and we're not using it for anything else. But anyway, that's for next episode, or the one after that. So, until then, I hope all of you had fun watching this episode, or at least liked it in the slightest. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.